Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, for a different kind of video, we're here at the Flannels flagship store at Oxford Circus. We're styling Tom Grennan for his upcoming War Child gig. Let's go inside. Hey Tom, thank you for joining me. Thanks for coming Thanks on the for channel. Really nice to meet you. And you, man. How are you doing today? Good. It's early. It's but early I'm, start. I'm excited, man. Yeah, it's man. Good. Have you ever been to Flannels before? Do you know what? I've actually never been in Flannels before. Yes, I've man. never actually, yeah, seen the shop. So it's, well, I'll it's show cool. you around. We'll look yeah, at the brands, see what kind of style you like. Thank and you. Yeah. Let's do it, man. What would you say your kind of style is if if I had to ask you what your style? I go was? through phases, man. I go through like wearing a lot of like streetwear. Yeah. I love a pair of tracksuit bottoms, so I'll, I'll I can't need go them. wrong with tracksuit yeah. bottoms. Um, but then, like, if I'm at a show or yeah, or like doing something that I can't wear track tracky bottoms. Yeah, before, what would your vibe I'd, be? It'd be more like um, I'd, I'm well into Gucci at the moment, so yeah. and all that high waisted stuff. Nice. And like a pleated trouser, which kind of I thought. Skinny jeans ain't for me. No, no I've way. completely gone off skinny oh, jeans completely. I can't be doing that, no way. And But, like, a long kind of baggy <laughs> trouser. room to breathe, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, one of them ones, we can do that. <laughs> this brand is actually really sick, Fija. Um, it's mm. like, that ethos is all about sustainability. Yeah, and, I've yeah, got man. a couple of pairs. Um, are they comfortable? They are. They're I like mean, an old school tennis shoe, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And they're very like clean. Yeah, yeah. They're becoming quite popular at the moment, actually. Yeah, I see so many people in them. Oh. What do What's you think about code? Vivian Westwood? Um, or have you not really thought about it in a I while? haven't really thought about Vivian Westwood. I've got yeah. a Vivian Westwood uh, wallet. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I feel like they're quite underrated, especially really? at the moment. Like, I yeah. feel like obviously there's a lot of noise from like bigger brands. Yeah. It's all right, like yeah. Prada, Off White, yeah. and stuff like that. But Vivian yeah. Westwood's been around for so long. It was classic, isn't it? Classic, yeah. yeah. And I've actually picked a couple of Vivian Westwood pieces for you, so I'll show you them later. Okay, cool. But sure. we'll see what you think. Yeah, man. It's okay. good to like put you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah, I saw stuff like this, and I thought that it would yeah, be man, that's cool. Kind of you. Yeah, man. This is kind of the same shape of jacket that you've got yeah. on now. But that's the, I like the uh, the cut on it. Uh, what kind of? I just saw your video for your new single. Is yeah. it, this is the place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. sick. Thank you. Man. I love the styling for that as well. Yeah, like, man. I think it feels like it's a bit of a different kind of direction for you. Yeah, like, like I said, like, it's, I want, I wanted to step it up this time. Yeah. And obviously, like, the brand of what like trousers I was wearing or shirt I was wearing, obviously it was, it's more expensive. But when you pay for, for more expensive, you want better quality. You get yeah. better quality, <laughs> yeah. but it. it, it it shows that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually pay for it. I had to give it back. <laughs> of which course. I was fuming about. But um, the high waisted, yeah, the and the high waist. That's stuff. what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, I was. Am I allowed to swear on it? Yeah, like, it's my YouTube channel. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, um, I feel like basically I wrote like wrote a like mood board out. Oh yeah. After I finished like the song, the, all like the first campaign. So now. Right. I went into the second campaign, I was like, wow, I want to think about everything, what I want to do, I want to have everything, like, what I want to wear, what I want to look like, what I want to, like, express, you, you know what I'm saying? Vision. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like Harry Styles went into my into my room when I was sleeping. <laughs> had a nosy. Had a nosy, and then took it, because he's got all the money in the world to do, do it with. Do you know what, I did see like some... He's, that, yeah. that Gucci stuff that he's wearing, and, like, yeah. all the high-waisted stuff, and I love a vest as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't think I wouldn't like put you next to Harry Styles. Though. I feel like you're two completely separate oh, yeah, entities. But yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you've got your own yeah, different yeah, kinds yeah. of style. But yeah. I know what you mean because you both got like high waisted trousers. Yeah, man. It's that more like feminine masculinity yeah, that's yeah, coming yeah. through now in yeah, fashion, man. which is yeah, so man. sick. But do you know what? As well, I want to be like I've said to myself, I want to start wearing a lot more suits. Yeah, but like same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's like I feel like the street kind of. The streetwear is kind of like 
it's overload. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like streetwear you... has kind of taken tailoring and made it more like relaxed. Yeah, definitely. So like big blazers, like baggy yeah, 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 trousers, yeah. whereas tailoring used to be so like, like sartorial, like, like crisp, yeah, yeah which is just not what it is anymore. No, no way. But um, yeah. yeah, I want to start wearing a lot more suits, man. Yeah. Definitely. Is there any style icons that you've got? Like, Do you know what? People you look up to? Not, not really. I, yeah, I like, I've that. never really had that. I've kind of like, I, at I, when I was at school, yeah, I used to be the guy who would always like try and rock something. Like I remember coming into school once with a pair of UGG boots on, yeah, <laughs> and I was like 15, yeah. Came to school thinking I was well bad. I was like, ah, yes, what's happening? What happened? In May. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what happened? I can I got, imagine. But I got booted out of school quickly by all my mates. But um, yeah, I, I, I've always tried to be like a little bit different or a little yeah. bit like standy out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but well, you're just standy wearing what... Standy out, yeah, like Standy out, that's a good word. Mm. You're just wearing what you want to wear, but well, obviously, it, yeah. if it's a bit different, then people take a while to get used to it. Yes, trust it? me, and then now look at now look at everybody in Ugg boots. I what? Know, right? yeah. Bedford, talk to me about Ugg boots, please. <laughs> <laughs> do you find that you dress differently, uh, like, day to day than you are on stage? Do, is there any difference? Yeah, definitely, like, I like being comfortable, especially in the studio. I'm not wearing a fucking suit to a studio, do you know what I'm no, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not chill. wearing a big blazer or, or like a shirt to a studio, but. What do you wear to the studio? Comfy, cozy? Comfy, cozy. All day, mate. All day. Did you get into any kind of like trends or like scenes in terms of fashion and style? Um, like I was definitely I, an emo kid. Well, yeah, so yeah. I was like, thought I was well bad and was into like the grime stuff. Oh, yeah. I still am into all of it, but like, uh, so what did you used to wear if you were into that crime kind of scene? Back then it was just like proper like grey prison tracksuits. So right? yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> and then I got into like, then I went into like indie mode. Right. Where I was like skinny jeans, just tight like. I used to have little plimsolls. When yeah. I went, yeah, when I went indie mode, I got a Fred Perry polo yeah. too from a charity shop. Straight up, man. <laughs> Don't know if it's, it's real. I lived in Fred Perry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Fred Perry story is sick. It is right. sick. They did um, their stuff that they did with Raf. Raf Simmons, yeah. It's His cool, clubs man. are awesome. Yeah, it's wicked. It's wicked. I love Raf as well. Yeah, Raph, apparently Raf might be the new head designer of Prada. Really? Names. Yeah, it's a rumour. So really? Don't, don't count us on that, but. I'm on that. <laughs> All this new stuff, man, it looks sick. Yeah, this is their new Prism collection. It's like iridescent. It's, a new what? It's called Prism. Prism? I think it's a Prism. Yeah, no, not Prism. It's not like, like your grand day. <laughs> 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 Right, so we've picked a few pieces already, so I want to put you in a couple of outfits yeah, bro. to see what you'd wear at your gig. Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Yeah, man. All right, Tom, so I've picked out a few pieces yeah, um, for different outfits for you to try on. Obviously, you've Shit. got your upcoming gig yep. um, for War Child, uh -huh. um, so we're styling you for that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you know what you feel comfortable in on stage or whatever, so I just want to go through these bits with you and see kind of what you're more inclined to wear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? So my first kind of idea... Yeah. Um, I'd rock I'd rock up on, on stage with that. Yeah, Gucci Mark blazer. Country. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then pick this, like, nice Vivian Westwood roll neck to kind of contrast yeah, nice. colour underneath. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'd go on stage with a roll neck. I'm quite hot, right? Bare hot. <laughs> Next up, now this is the kind of look that you've already chosen and styled yourself, to be honest. Yeah. But I thought we'd put that Yoji yeah, man. jacket with these trousers. Sick. With just a plain black Stone Island tee underneath. Cool. I think mean, that's casual, yeah, man. quite easy. Yeah, man. I always turn up to shows in like big comfy coats. Yeah, well, and this if, is like that. And if I have a little statement piece like that. Scoochy bucket. <laughs> Do you wear bucket hats? Um, I have like, I have in the past, but nothing like, like this. Okay, so also on the rail, we have this lovely bowling shirt from yes, Gucci. Man. What are you thinking? That's a bit of me, mate. Yeah. 100%. Lightweight, man. the back. Yeah, love it. Okay, Tom, this is the final outfit that we've chosen for the gig. Mate, I'm buzzing. What are you saying? You smashed it, mate. You think? Gucci, bowling shirt, the trousers, lightweight. I'm going to be able to move on stage easily. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think you're a big fan of Gucci. I am. That's what I found when we were going through the rail. <laughs> million dollars in it. You look sick. Thank you so much for letting me style you. Thank you, bro. You're so sick. I can't wait till we gig. Nice, awesome. See you.